What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this Sam Calder drawing effect. So what I've done, I've actually got a screen grab of this drawing shot right here and I've freeze framed that so the shot doesn't appear on the sheet. And then I've also got the hyperlapse clip that I'm going to make appear on the drawing. So yeah, the first thing you want to do is on the shot that you want to appear on the piece of paper, you need to actually freeze frame the start of it. So what we're going to do is select the shot, go to the beginning, press and hold shift, and then press H. And that's going to hold it. And now all you want to do is drag that over your drawing shot. And I'm going to turn the opacity down so we can see the drawing shot and then we can line it up. Now I'm going to hit the transform button. I'm going to make this smaller and just I'm going to try and line it up with the drawing. Okay, so now that both shots are lined up, what I'm going to do is add a mask to the top shot. So I'm going to go to effects and go to masks. I'm going to use a shape mask. And then I'm just going to crop the mask to the piece of paper. Okay, and now what you want to do is go to the keying effect and go to Luma Key. You want to go to the start of your shot Depending on your photograph, you want to use these sliders to bring up the blacks or the whites first. So on this one, we want to bring up the whites first because of the building. I'm just going to use the sliders and figure it out. And then I'm going to add a keyframe right at the start. And I'm going to move forward. We don't need to press keyframe again because it's already recording. And I'm just going to move the sliders like that. I'm going to tweak this a little bit and now you can see the drawing fade on. Okay and now what you want to do is just cut the end off of that there and I'm just going to delete all the effects on this one. I probably should have duplicated the clip at the start but yeah. <laughs> okay I'm going to put that to the start of the shot and just trim that and then I'm going to turn those into a compound clip. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a bit of movement to this because it's a um, screen grab just to make it look a bit more realistic. Okay, so I've added a little zoom and rotation and now all I'm going to do is add the handheld effect just to give it a little bit more movement. So I'm going to go to effects and use the handheld effect right there. So the transition is like this time warp zoom in transition. So for that all I'm going to do is go to my transitions and go to the time warp transitions and use the time warp zoom in and I'm just going to add that to the beginning of the shot and overlay it on this shot. So yeah it's actually quite messy because of the letterbox effect on the on the screen grabs that I downloaded. Okay, so that looks good. I'm just going to add a letterbox effect on top and let's see what that, that looks like. So that's the transition done. I'll leave the link for that transition in the description. It's a free download. So yeah, there you go. That's how you do the drawing effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.